Hello. This is the newest version of Atom Smasher. I've added two levels. The first is Dreamland, which is just uh, everything is available to you. You can do whatever you'd like. By the way, you can hit escape nowadays. And the second one is Zappington's, where you get to learn about waveguides. Now, waveguides are a little bit obnoxious to try and work with, but essentially they replace the concept of a klystron, because the klystrons get bigger and bigger and bigger, and eventually you can't fit them in a the tunnel, so you put them over there somewhere outside the tunnel, and then you just bring in their their juice. And, uh, and you can see what I'm doing here is I'm just setting up a giant stack of waveguides. And then I'll need a little bit more electricity. And basically, I'm just going to give you a quick uh, walkthrough of this level. It is the, the last real level in this game, uh, in this particular update. But there is a lot that you can do uh, with this stuff later on. I haven't... Uh, this is just to introduce the concept. I haven't gotten far enough yet to really, really get it going. But it is complex enough that I know that some people are going to have difficulties with it. This is a neat trick. Um, because there is space between the output and the waveguide here, I can actually drop another waveguide in, and it'll be set up perfectly for the next one. Now, after three of these RF chambers... Oop, got to do it again. Uh, that's not the right way. After three... Focus. Now, what am I doing? I'm just being stupid. All right, anyhow, after three of these RF chambers, so these single RF chambers, the liquid nitrogen gets too hot, and you can either be okay with that or you can try and rescue it. It's up to you how you want to play that. But at this point, we can put in the double. Now, the double is, uh, it requires two waveguides rather than just one. And as you can see, you just bring them in fairly straightforward, as well as some nitro. Um, and if we drop this down... So these double waveguides, uh, sorry, these double RF chambers are a lot more effective. Let's put in another one. Drop it in. Drop it in. Let's go ahead and punch this up. We can actually, uh, we can actually bring this this beam up to eight or nine GeV if we set it up right, but I'm not going to set it up right because that's all you really need to beat the level. And you can see that we are out of basically everything. We've got an extra waveguide and a little bit of extra coolant, uh, and we're just going to use this splash collider. The splash collider is, uh, it doesn't require any kind of precision, so you don't have to focus this beam at all. Of course, it's also quite large. Anyhow, that's this week. Um, in the next week, I will be introducing a lot of the final late game content, and then I'll be polishing up the levels and the UI. So thanks for sticking around, and go ahead and play it if you'd like. It's free.